Welcome to PicWatch with a video about tail biting. The following tutorial deals with the question why does tail biting occur in pig farming and what are the causes, what types of tail biting exist and how can a breakout be prevented. Tail biting is found in all husbandry systems, from intensive and extensive stable housing through to free range systems, indicating that the causes are multifactorial. However, it is clear that especially in the case of intensive housing systems with minimal space availability and no or inadequate enrichment material, the tail biting is a serious problem. Why do pigs bite in the tails of their companions? Naturally, the pigs are predominantly occupied with searching for food as their daily activity. Therefore, they use their nose to root in the ground. Even if they are fed ad libitum as domesticated animals, they continue this behavior. Pigs are very intelligent animals that must be occupied to avoid the occurrence of behavioral disorders. Abnormal behavior of pigs is usually indicated through an oral activity such as tail, flank or ear biting, belly nosing or biting on barn equipment. In husbandry systems where there is no opportunity for rooting or dealing with suitable material, tail biting can occur very frequently. Tail docking has reduced the appearance of tail biting but not the causes. The causes of tail biting are diverse. A lack of occupation material, a high stocking density, a restricted availability to feed and water, feed composition problems, housing environment problems, weather change, health problems or the genetic disposition. What forms of tail biting are there? Three forms are distinguished. The first form is caused by a lack of occupation material. Due to a lack of environmental enrichment, the pigs begin to hassle their colleagues, they suck or chew on their tails or the ears of the pigs around them. This behavior is an exploration of an unnatural object for lack of alternatives. The motivation is not aggressive at this stage, but injuries can lead to bleeding and the taste of blood can then lead to active tail biting behavior. This form of tail biting can be avoided by sufficient occupation material. The second form is caused by fighting for resources or frustration. Suddenly they are bitten by force, usually by several animals in the group. For example, if the water supply breaks down, less feeding places or bad climate. Here the cause must be detected and corrected as quickly as possible. In the third form, a single animal is the cause. There can be a single animal in a group which become fanatical biter for different reasons. They usually bite quickly and strong which leads to a loud short squeal of the victim. These fanatic biter must be recognized and separated. So even if the housing system is optimized, a situation may occur in which a breakout of tail biting is imminent. Our project PickWatch is currently working on exactly this moment before an outbreak occurs. In the project we work on high-tech methods for early detection of behavioral problems and on the training of the farmer to observe the animal's behavior and to recognize signals at an early stage. In PickWatch we summarize the experience of the pig farmers and according to them the most important signal for a possible outbreak of tail biting is the tail position. If single animals are observed to have hanging or even tucked tails, action must be taken. As a first measure, the pig should be distracted, for example, with high silage, corn grains or even salt. Then the courses have to be identified and corrected. Does the water system work? Is there a fanatical biter? Or are there too many animals in the pen? If already injured animals are in the pen, these must be treated. It is also important 
that the appearance of tail biting is recorded. This is the only way that causes can be solved in the long term. The checklist and other informations about tail biting are available on our website pickwatch.net. I wish you a successful pig production and all the best. <laughs>